Today I'm going to demo for you SIVA's new clause library. You can find the library located under Templates and then click Clauses. This top part here is a search screen if you happen to know your clause name or publish date. And all of your saved clauses will be down here below sorted alphabetically. And we're going to start by clicking on New Clause. To begin a new clause, simply type in a name. So I'm going to demo this for you today. And if you have text that was pre-approved or pre-constructed, you can simply paste that into this section here. And I'm going to use a bunch of gibberish today for this example. And then when I'm all done, I'll set this to Publish and click Save. This notice is letting you know that you can no longer make changes to these clauses. And if you do need to make a change after it's been published, you'll have to make a copy. So click OK, and then Done. And you'll see it here. This is the one I just created. And to insert it into my transaction, I'll go back to my transaction page here. And I'm going to just select this one. Scroll down to the document, click on it, and then I'm going to click Modify Document. Now the clauses are a component, so you can click on any of these plus signs to insert it. So I'm going to actually just add a few line breaks so that we can see it a little easier. And then click on this plus sign here to add a paragraph component and choose clause from the list. And the, the one that I want is this demo one right here at the top. And I'm gonna insert a clause. And this inserts as a text field. If I need to make changes, I can click this edit text line and make my changes. Or I can delete it entirely by clicking the delete. And it works just like a regular component in the library. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back so you can take a look at it. Uh, and then I'm going to click Done. And you'll see here on the preview that it's going to be in blue text, like a regular text that I've inserted. I can change it to black ink if I click on Final. If I need to make changes to my clause, I can come back here to this clause library screen, click on my clause. Clicking Edit up here will allow me to change the clause's name or mark it inactive, which will remove it from my list of active clauses to choose from. And I don't want to do that. I actually want to make changes to my text here. So I'm going to click Cancel. And instead, I'm going to make a copy by clicking this Copy button. And we're going to pretend that I'm going to add an extra paragraph of this gibberish. If I wanted to keep this new copy and this original copy active, I can simply change the name of this copy clause and then I could save it as its own clause without affecting this original. But if I do want to save over it, I can make sure it's named the same and we're going to have market published and we're going to confirm the deactivation of this clause here and then click copy. And this is just a warning, letting us know that any changes cannot be undone. Click OK. And then I can now insert my new clause into my documents.